Welcome to an overview video of AquaData Studio Visual Analytics. Visual Analytics inside of AquaData Studio is a main menu and a floating window. Right? So here you can see an example of some Visual Analytics files I have opened. And this introduces the concept of separating your data sets into dimensions and measures and then the ability to build worksheets and dashboards and then perform analysis and tell a story through my data visualization. Okay, so let's let's look at some examples. You really have unlimited features here in terms of, of variations and types of visualizations, but let's look at a few examples. So under visualization, visual analytics new, connect to data will allow me to point to existing data sets. Or you'll see the icon above different data sets, and that would bring that data set into the visual analytics. So here, if I clicked on connect to data, I can point to an existing business intelligence data set. And right away, I can see a separation of my data sets into measures, my numerical fields, and dimensions. Right? Pretty standard in a visual analytics tool. And now I have the ability to drag and drop and, and build all types of, of data visualizations. So let's look at some examples, right? Maybe a quick example is a comparison data visualization. So here I can drag and drop some revenue values per product. So here I'm seeing a comparison of sales revenue per product category. And then I have different ways of sorting or customizing this view of this data set. So this is one example of a comparison data visualization. There's built-in intelligence where the visual analytics will choose what type of visualization it thinks is helpful for those fields, but you can customize or change those as well. So here, if I wanted to build a different type of visualization, perhaps a pie chart example, and then drag and drop certain values, right? So again, maybe I'll stick with this profit measure and drag and drop that and create a pie chart, but then perhaps mouse over the chart properties boxes and I see drag dimensions or measures here. So I can drag and drop a dimension into a chart properties box and start building a visualization that way. Right? So lots of different variations here, and we can look at a few more examples. Um, here, perhaps, if I wanted to look at a, a calendar value, right? So here I can see a ship date dimension, and I see a calendar and clock. So I can drag and drop that, and then even perhaps customize this. If I right click here, I'm showing year values. Maybe I'd like to isolate that to weekly values. And then perhaps look at my weekly sales. And then perhaps customize this into a different look and feel or different type of data visualization. All right, so here are just some examples that might, might apply to what you're trying to do with data visualizations. So these are examples of worksheets. I could right click on these, rename these. So maybe I'll call this product profit. Save that, notice it names it in the worksheet. So I can rename a number of these worksheets. Right? Maybe I'll call this profit by state. And then here, maybe I'll rename this one weekly sales. Okay, so very easy to use, right-click menus, or you can drive from the, the toolbars as well. And then to introduce the concept of dashboards, here I could click on New Dashboard or Dashboard, New Dashboard. Notice I see the available charts that I've already created, right? So I could just double-click or drag and drop and start creating a dashboard, which is a combination of charts. And then I have the ability to save or name this, right? So I could call this Profit by state and product. Okay, so lots of flexibility here in terms of how you'd like to document or name your data visualization. Okay, so you have the ability to dive into the data here, right? I could click within the fields here, notice view data would allow me to slice and dice the data and, and, and look at the data that's building this data visualization. Um, I have the ability to export this in different ways, right? File, export, I could export this to an image, HTML or PDF. But then you also have the concept of saving this or sharing this with other Aqua Data Studio users. So file, save would allow me to save this as a visual analytics workbook. Or you have the ability to create a data extract 
and so file export package workbook would allow me to save an extract and share the data set with this visual analytics file so different flexibility there um, and then um, lots of other variations and chart properties boxes that might be of interest um, here perhaps if we look at a, a different example um, here I could build say a geographical view right so perhaps I'd like to see um, a geographical view of sales right so here I could say drag and drop a profit value into my geography box and start building a data visualization that way or perhaps I'd like to see a global view of sales and create a map or global view and then perhaps you know isolate this to a certain portion of, of my global view and, and perhaps turn this into a regional view right so here I can isolate a data set and say keep only and just show me a certain regional then drag and drop into certain chart properties boxes from here right? and isolate and start to tell a different story here right so lots of flexibility and customization capabilities um, you can also work on multiple data sets at once so if I clicked on data set connect to data I could see other available data sets right so here was a data set from a, a business intelligence data set I had here I could point to say an Oracle result set and then you know easily start building the story or dragging and dropping um, and telling a story with this data set right so you have different capabilities here to be working with multiple data sets at the same time and then also here if you have data in an external file here for example I could just copy and copy and paste to bring a data set into my data visualization so here I could click on data paste and then notice I have the ability to cut and paste data from a tab or delimited file into my data visualizations so here's an example of, of data I've brought from a Excel spreadsheet from an Oracle SQL statement and then just a cut and paste from from memory and clipboard okay aqua data studio visual analytics is included in all licenses and then you can have you can drill down into more details here uh, on the visual analytics page from the the aqua data studio homepage uh, on aquafold.com so we encourage you to download and explore the visual analytics and start having fun building data visualizations and slicing and dicing your data with aqua data studio visual analytics thank you